Hello and welcome to the Star Pilot instructional video series. My name is Louis Soltero, the author of the Star Pilot, and I'll be your host today. Star Pilot is a self-contained, easy-to-use celestial navigation and piloting computer available on a number of different platforms, including Apple's iPhone and iPod Touch. For information on Star Pilot, its features, documentation, and educational materials, please visit us on the web at www.starpilotllc.com. <clears throat> Today, we'll be going over a series of sites to complete a multi-body celestial running fix. Uh, for this problem, uh, we'll be using a reference called 100 Problems in Celestial Navigation by Leonard Gray. And we'll do problem number one in the book. Uh, the book is available through Celestair, the publisher, and is available for $20 on their website. The first problem in the book basically requires you to compute a fix on May the 13th of 1993 at 0744 GMT, given that you're on a vessel on a course of 90 degrees true, running at a speed of 5.5 .5 knots, with a DR lat and lawn as dictated in the problem, a DR time of 7.30 GMT, and an index correction of minus 1.2 minutes with a height of I of 7 feet. Six bodies were sighted at that time. The table listed here has the GMT times for the sites and the altitudes of the sites. I've also included for you the intercept and the azimuth for the site reductions, just as a check while we do the problems here. Um, you might want to print this out and have it available for you while we run this video on the iPod uh, Touch. So let's start. Okay, here we find the Star Pilot and is running actually on a simulator on our Macintosh. Um, we started by just clicking the icon and it comes up to a set of menus. Uh, there are 47 navigational functions in the Star Pilot, and they're organized in a number of different ways. Um, for this particular problem, we'll just focus on the settings and on the site reduction and select still fix, still still fix menus. As noted in the problem, uh, there are six sites. Many of the sites have a lot in common, basically your DR position and, um, the, day, and the day of the year. Um, so rather than having to enter each one of those every single time, the Star Pilot offers you a settings menu that allows you to set values for some of the variables that are constant throughout your site reductions. The settings can be accessed through the main menu item or the index or from the tab bar on the settings icon. Very first thing we'll do in this particular problem is we'll just select reset factory defaults just to set a set of reasonable defaults for the calculator. Then we'll go ahead and click on the general tab and we'll enter the values um, for this common <clears throat> variables in this particular site reduction. So we'll start with the date. Uh, the date is May the 13th of 1993. So we just go ahead and scroll up May, select the 13th, enter 1993. Okay, and hit the select. If we were to hit the now button, it would select the current date. The DR latitude, again for this particular problem, is 40 degrees, point 10 minutes. You'll notice that when entering data in the star pilot, you enter the degrees followed by decimal point, followed by the minutes and then the decimal minutes. You have the actual values illustrated at the top of the entry form. You hit done and that will select north latitude 40 degrees 10 minutes and then we have a DR longitude of 50 degrees again 0.15 following the entry conventions of the star pilot and this is west so we select the southwest minus key uh, and hit done and again note that we've got this value since the index error index correction is going to be the same for this site again we can go ahead and enter this in minutes, 1.2 minutes, 
and the height of the eye is seven, oh, seven feet. And we have a lower limb. While we're at it, we can go ahead and set the DR parameters as well. Um, we're going to be running in speed mode for this particular problem. The vessel is running at 5.5 knots. Following, I'm sorry, it's following a course of 90 degrees. Speed of 5 knots, 5.5 knots. And the DR time uh, is 07. 30. So we enter that into the calculator and we're, we're done. Um, to get back to our main index menu, we'll click on the index and next we're going to do the site reductions and enter the data. So we go ahead and select our first body. The first body is a star, cocab. So we click on the body to select the body. We'll click on the search. Enter a few letters of the star name. Cocab appears. We select it. We then enter the watch time for this particular site, which is 733. 45. <clears throat> Um, and then we confirm that the other values which were retrieved from the settings are correct and correspond to the particular problem. And then we hit compute site reduction to complete the site reduction. And we see immediately that we've cr created some kind of error because our intercept value is minus 2640, which is a long ways from where we are. So we hit the back button. We delete the site since it's not a valid site. We then see that reviewing our form, we forgot to enter the altitude. So we'll click on the altitude, enter the altitude, which for this particular site was 43.238. That's 43 degrees, 23.8 minutes. And now go up and compute our site reduction and get a much more reasonable hour, uh, answer of 0.2 nautical miles for the intercept at an azimuth of 339.2 degrees. So we're happy with that site. We can go ahead and now prepare for the new site. Click on new. The second site, again indicated here in the um, <clears throat> menu header, is number two. So we select our next star. Again by, by typing in the first few letters of the star name. This time, our watch time is 7.35.16. Our altitude is 51 degrees, 5 minutes. 51.052. And then we can go ahead and just say compute to site reduction and we get an intercept value of 14 degree of 14.1 nautical miles. We could then go ahead and say we want to do the next site. This time we'll do an alcade. The watch time is 7:37:15. And the altitude is 30.159 and we compute the site reduction get an intercept value of 5.8 miles which seems quite reasonable we then go to do our fourth site this is Altair we have a watch time of seven minutes seven thirty nine oh two 